That girl, she got with my girl. Part of Lozo that she got, she's too bad. The Ox. A very important thing while you're driving in a car. You use it because you don't want to listen to the radio because you just know they're going to play some bullshit that you heard 15 times already and you get to personalize what you hear. Now that sounds like some shit that you want to use all the time and it is. But the thing is, let's say you're driving the car and your friend wants to use the ox. And let's just say your friend is Danny Green. That nigga showed up to a Lakers game playing a boogie, not in his headphones, from the speaker. The speaker! He made everybody else listen to that. Are you letting him get the ox? Cause I'm not. If that nigga even thinks, breathes, or looks at my ox, I'm beating his ass. He can't get the ox. And this the nigga you wanna trust to win the game. Like I said earlier in the video, if you do certain things, you just can't get the ox. For example, if you listen to A Boogie, don't even get near the car. You're walking home, bro. Which leans into the first point of this video. You can't get the ox if... Now you would think this is just common sense, but you know, some people don't think like us. So let me break it down for you. If you listen to 6 9 you can't get the ox. If you listen to New Chance the Rapper, you probably hate yourself. And if you listen to NBA Youngboy, shut the fuck up. My point is, don't get in the car with me and be like, hey, hey bro, I, I got some shit I want to play. And then you play fucking 6 9 and try to convince me that it's good. No, nigga, that shit stinks. And another thing, don't be getting in the car if you about to play some J.I.D. with him talking about fee fi ro drum young man rumble. Like, bro, what are you talking about? You got to know the vibe. Speaking of which, you can't get the ox if... What I mean by this is, you need to understand when to play a song or when not to play a song. Let me give an example. We can't go from Lil Uzi being like, to Kendrick Lamar being like, Promise that you will sing about me. Promise that you will sing about me. Like it just doesn't work, cause one second I'm like, oh yeah, I'm a rich ass nigga too. <laughs> I miss my mom. Like, if you want to go from Kendrick to Uzi, you, you need a few transition songs, bro. You need to go from, from Uzi to Gunna to somebody else and then Kendrick, bro. You can't just go from Uzi to Kendrick. It's not going to work. But the main point of this is, bro, get a playlist. You can't just be picking random songs, bro. Just get a playlist, figure out the vibe of the playlist, and keep it pushing, bro. And to get to the final point of this video, you can't get the aux if... You can't just be in the back seat bossing people around. Oh, I don't like this song. Change it. Nigga, is this your car? Fuck no, baby. I didn't think so. Stay in the back seat. You just got to understand whose car it is. You can't just be like, ooh, can we play this? Ooh, can we play this? No, we can't. And this goes back to the first point of the video. By the time they get their chance to play something that they really want to play, it's some bullshit. Nigga doing all that shit for some A-Boogie. That's what you want to play? This what you do when you finally get a chance to play something? A Boogie? Are you serious? I promise you, if I'm in the car and I'm driving and I hear some A Boogie, I'm finna stand up, snap your ass out the car, bro, because you're never getting in a car again. Every time I see you, you better be walking because I'm going to snatch you out the car, bro. I ain't finna make you torture more people with that nigga's music. But basically, the point of this video is fuck A Boogie. Well, that's all I had to say. So, thank you guys for watching to the end of this video. Stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, and as always, Never play a boogie and have yourselves a damn good one.